Okay guys, this is day two of the 30 day challenge, 30 minute walk. I'm heading out, I'm gonna see if I can bring you along for a little bit. Um, it is still kind of windy today, but I thought I would at least uh, help you, um, you know, bring you along for just a few minutes. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that. Hey guys, so I'm out here. Um, it is still a bit busy, so hopefully um, you guys can hear me. Um, it's a bit windier even, I think, than yesterday, but that's okay. We're actually expecting another thunderstorm tonight sometime between 5 and 8. Um, but uh, I'm literally just going down my house about two blocks. Um, our track for our kids' school, which we live about a block and a half from our kids' school here in town. Um, our track is about two blocks from us the other direction. So I've literally just been coming down here and walking down here. Um, and I do that partially just because um, it's centrally located. I do want to take some of these days and bring my dog out to the in the area where the track is. Um, so, and but because it's been kind of warm out, I haven't been able to get out. She's, she's like 12 years old, and she doesn't handle being out for really long walks anymore. So, um, what I might do is when it cools down a little bit and it's not up in the 90s, take her out when it's more like in the 70s and have her do part of the walk with me because she is lucky she's going to be able to handle 10 or 15 minutes of the walk. So I'll walk her around a few blocks, bring her back home, and then go out and finish another 15 minutes or so. But it would be really, really good for her to stretch her legs and be out and about too. Um, so I would recommend if you are doing this or something like this, just find somewhere. Some people live close to trails. I don't. Um, this works out well for me. Or literally just walking our neighborhoods. Um, we live in a really small town. And everybody here is just super nice. So walking even a neighborhood around here um, would work out really well. Hopefully y'all. I have a bit of a glare on my screen. So hopefully y'all can see me okay on this. Um, but I'm excited to do this challenge. This is like I said day two. Um, and I'm noticing, for me, obviously this is really good cardio. You notice it more now when I'm talking. Um, but it's not just really good for blood circulation and getting oxygenation into your, not only your lungs, but into your bloodstream, which is so important for your health. Um, you feel it also in your legs. Um, you know, just like your thighs and even your calves walk in like this um, and if you wanted to when you walk you can also bring like light weights with you for your arms like maybe two or three pounds and just walk with those just to kind of work the arm muscles um, but yeah let's switch arms uh, it's just been nice and I've been enjoying having the breeze out here with me honestly just because it's nice to just have that breeze coming through when you're walking especially when it's 90 degrees out just to kind of cool the body down while you're walking but I hope bringing you along you guys for just a minute or two of this walk is helpful um, again if you guys are doing anything like this you can go anywhere different people live in different locations some people live close to trails some people live close to schools some people um, can't actually go outside if you live in a bad neighborhood or you don't really have a place outside you can walk if you go to a gym um, you could walk even, you don't even have to go inside the gym, guys. If you have a gym close to you, you can even just walk the perimeter of the gym, guys. You don't have to have a membership to walk. Oh, but there goes the hat. The perimeter of the gym. Or even just find, like, an area where you can walk the perimeter of some buildings if it's safe. There's so many different ways you can go out walking. If you don't have trails close to or school close to or something like that. So just be creative with it if you want to do this. Um, I did not wake up on time to do my my uh, muscle toning this morning. There's been a couple mornings the last few weeks where I have gotten up half hour or 45 minutes after when I originally wanted to. And my Bible reading time is more important. I used to actually put my workouts in front of that. But now if I don't get my workout in, I do my Bible reading first. Um, it's just what I do. So anyway, guys. Um, yeah, so I didn't... Uh, get my arm workout in this morning or I've just been doing some muscle toning with like bands or slides they're called gliders um, just different things like that so you can do a combination of whatever you want to do you can walk 
the 30 minutes and then if you want to get a little bit of strength training in or even just walking if, if you've never done anything like this before guys even just walking for a little bit can make a big difference just starting out guys seriously walking is such a healthy thing to do and if you want i might actually just do this just talk a little bit on the video about the benefits of walking guys Walking is actually better for you than running. So, I'll probably try and put a video out about that. Just because there are so many benefits and it's so much better for your body, easier on your body. Okay guys, I'm gonna shut this down. I will let you know when I'm finished with this for today. And uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay guys, I just got back from my walk. Again, this is day two, just finished my walk. It was really kind of breezy out there. Um, Definitely feeling this in my legs. Um, one of the things I really like about walking compared to running is when your legs get heavy, because they will. Um, when you're walking, you could just keep walking, versus when you're running, you really, really slow down. And it gets to the point where you're just walking anyway, if you're like me. Um, but it still feels really good. Um, my muscles are sore in my legs. But uh, this is one of the reasons why, guys, even um, after you do something like this, whether it's a workout, walking, or anything like that, it's really good to work out the, um, the, uh, the, um, what is it, uh, the acid that builds up in your muscles, um, like foam rolling or something like that, which I have done in the past. I haven't done for a while, but I do believe I'm definitely going to try and foam roll this Saturday just to kind of work out the muscles a little bit. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is day two, so stay tuned. Hey y'all, so day three of the 30 day challenge, doing a 30 minute walk. I'm taking my dog Roxy with me today. She's so excited, she loves going for walks. Um, it is much cooler today, so we are going to go for a nice walk and even if she can't do the whole thing with me, I'll drop her off and I'll just keep going. So stay tuned, I will let you know how things go. Hey guys, okay, so I did take Roxy with me. Um, like I mentioned in the first video, I do want to get her out with me once in a while. He's not as windy today, so hopefully you'll actually be able to hear me. I know the first video it was really windy and bits of it, it was really hard to hear anything. I apologize for that. Um, but this is day three, and uh, I took her around a couple blocks in our neighborhood and then took her back home. I'm back here at the track now. Um, I'm really enjoying these walks, you guys. I just want to take a minute and just talk with you and say hi, and then I'm going to finish my walk out. Um, I haven't done any measurements yet. I already know what I weigh. Um, I haven't done any. I want to do a thigh measurement, a waist measurement, and a hip measurement. I'm not anticipating a ton of change the first month. Um, because honestly, it takes time. But I am hoping, even though we're in fall and it's going to start getting colder, our temps have already jumped like 20 degrees. It does that overnight, which is kind of crazy. Um, because we're going to be already in freezing, close to cold freezing temperatures in the next week or two. Um, it's October. We live in South Dakota, so it gets cold down here. We're up here wherever you are. Um, but anyway, I really do enjoy walking like this. I didn't think I would enjoy it this much, and I'm really enjoying it. I am hoping to maybe be able to continue this. Um, we'll have to see if it's going to be like every day. But on kind of a semi-regular basis on top of my workouts at home for muscle toning. Um, I did not get up in time for my muscle toning this morning. I've just been having a hard time sleeping. And uh, I'm going on about three or four hours, maybe three hours of sleep the last couple of nights each night. So I've been really fatigued. Um, but I'm still out here. Honestly, guys, it feels good to be out here. Um, uh, tell me in the comments below, you guys. If you're doing anything like this too, or if you've thought about it, if you aren't doing it yet, have you thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I know, like I said, we're in fall, so it's getting chillier out. Some people may have a hard time doing it outside, but again, if you have the ability to do it inside, maybe even just if you have like a treadmill inside, you can do this on a treadmill, totally. Um, seriously, it's just walking. You could even do like a walk in place or a run in place. You can go on YouTube and people actually do indoor walking in place for exercise for like 30, 45 minutes or whatever you choose to do. I've done those too. And you're literally, you're still getting the exercise in. You're still working every day for y'all. So 
but maybe that gives some information about the benefits of walking and uh, what I like about it and uh, versus running especially. So anyway guys, I do hope you're enjoying this. I know I am. I'll tell you, just even breathing in the fresh air, like every once in a while I just take like a really deep breath and just let that fresh air go into my lungs. Man, it feels so good. Um, the air feels good in your body. You can just feel the oxygenation going in your body, right? Um, when I'm done with my walks, I'm tired. But I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm done for the day. It's nothing like that. So, yeah. Guys, I will let you know when I'm all done. Because I'm sure you guys don't want me to just be out here for the next 15 minutes just chatting it up with you. Um, I will let you guys know when I'm all done. And uh, we'll see you then. Hey you guys, sorry I didn't finish the video off yesterday. I needed to turn my phone off after my walk, or kind of in the middle of my walk. Um, I'm on day four. Um, I just finished taking my dog around the couple blocks, so I'm heading down to the track. It is really windy out today, so I probably won't be filming anything while I'm out and about, but uh, I'll check in when I'm done. Okay guys, we'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. So I got my 30 minutes in. It's about 10 minutes with my dog and I do about 20 minutes on the track. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to catch my breath because it is super windy out there today. I was almost getting blown over. Um, so anyway, um, this is again day four. I'm going to wrap this part of the video up and get these few days up and going for you guys. Um, so this will be one video for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Thursday. Um, I've already got planned um, some other videos coming up besides the walking, you guys. Um, we're going to be doing some fun stuff in the kitchen, so stay tuned, guys. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. Uh, between the 30-day the challenge of walking, I'm sharing with you guys what I do with my workouts, things in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to be making my own laundry soap here soon. I'm going to do a video on that. So guys, if you are interested in being chemical free and daily healthy living, do subscribe so you don't miss any great content. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. We'll see you soon.